hi how's it going so about that perp earlier wonderful thing about screenshots is that you get a hell of a lot of evidence from that but i want you to listen to this phone phone call from the police and i want you to listen to it really really carefully and if you can't get what's going on during this call then i'll explain it to you yeah, I want to report cyber harassment that took place and the possible outing of a crime. I'm not entirely sure how this happens, but long story short, if you can see my file, you can see that I have claimed to be a targeted individual for some years now. And I was doing a live along those lines um, on one of my Instagram channels and somebody came online and at first they tried to pose as somebody who was similar to me, a targeted individual. Um, I will give you the full gist of what they've said. Hello, mate. So basically they've called themselves Gorilla Black 999 That's nice. I have screenshot their profile. They have no posts or videos. So they said, hello, mate. Do you know what Telephone Scatologica is? And then I said, I don't know what that is. And I looked online. And that's when they turned around and said to me, it's when people make sex noises on the phone. Perps do this all the time. Sometimes they remotely influence targets to perform these skits from the scatalog. So basically he's referring to fecal matter already because that's what they like to do. Um, and then they said, oh, because it happens to me a lot. I was wondering if you have experienced it. Of course I haven't. And then they said, then they said, this is, the crucial thing that I want to pay attention to. Just so you know, if you've left your flat and you don't take your toothbrush with you, the perps stick the bristles in their asshole, laughing my ass off. You've probably brushed your teeth with your neighbor's butthole germs in your mouth. Oh no. And I, I said something in the video along the lines of, yeah, that's definitely a perp. And then this person says, I am a, I am a semi-perp. I am a real target, but they influence me to perp others or else they'll increase my torture more. So, so basically, in the TI community, there's TIs and there's perps. So what these people like to do is they like to come online, pretend they're a target, and then use that to trigger us through um shameful language or through trying to increase our paranoia now i've been talking about my neighbors online for quite some time so the neighbors they're talking about they've basically dropped these people in it because this is a young family now what this person has intimated is that not only are they assigned to torture me themselves but they're also saying that the neighbors have been breaking into my flat and sticking their toothbrush one of them has been sticking their toothbrush my toothbrush in their asshole so basically not only is this person trying to attack me psychologically they also might be potentially framing my neighbors as well now again it's not to say that none of not gonna lie to you it's most likely one of the kids upstairs because one of them were basically gloating that they've won and that they've got to me, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, so have you been sticking, breaking into my flat and sticking things in your ass or not? Like, I don't want to know if you've got to me. I want to know if you've been breaking in and, and doing shit like that to my toothbrush. Because if you have, I can easily get it tested and find out what's really real. So if it's true, then you've committed a crime. And if it's not true, then you've basically just made yourself look like a dirty piece of shit for no reason. Forget the gloating. Did you do it or not? What they're saying is true, but it's very obvious why they've done this. And if this is true, it might be a potential crime. So for now, I'm just reporting cyber harassment. I'm not reporting anything else until I know more. But now you see where I'm coming from when it comes to me being a targeted individual and these perps coming online and, you know, trying to put pass as one of me in order to trigger me. It's happened before. This is not the first time it's happened. It's happened twice. The first time it happened, somebody lied about another targeted individual and said, I know this person. They killed her whole family. 
and try to frame her and the same thing will happen to you. So that was the first time it happened. The second time it happened, that was a direct um, this person said all kinds of silly nonsense about why my neighbours were racist, trying to act like they were genocidal maniacs. That was another triggering attempt, but that was a lot more low level than the last time. And then we've got this time where this person has an obvious racist username. That's A. And then they've got a, an avatar that looks like me in their um, in their profile picture. So that's the first thing. Actually, that's two things. The second thing is, is that they've come online saying that they are assigned to torture others. They've mm. basically made a confession that they're assigned to torture others. Mm. And the third thing is, is that they potentially drop the neighbours in it by saying the neighbours have been breaking into my home and sticking my hygienic products up their ass. Now, I don't know if that's actually true or not, but at the very least, this is cyber harassment. And that's what I'd like to report. Okay, how long were these messages going on for? I should be a fucking lawyer, Jesus Christ. Not long. Um, not long. This this took place this morning. So it's not technically sort of class of harassment as such? It is harassment because they clearly came online trying to elicit paranoia in me. And not only that, they potentially dropped my neighbours in it. Because they know I've been falling out with them. How are you? How are you gonna? How are you gonna come online and say, "Oh, I'm assigned to torture you," and that's not harassment? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> because harassment needs to happen over a long period of time, not just one day that they sent a message. Okay, so how? What would that classify as then, if it's not harassment? Or have they made any direct threats towards you? Have they? That's no, no, no. They just said my neighbours have that's been. A, that's a very good question. You see, they do this shit, and then they don't make any direct threats. That's how they get away with it. Taking things in their ass, and they clearly did that really to get an emotional response. Then. Okay, That's so just, what would that be classified being, as? It's not really a crime. It's just sort of just, just being a bit irritating, if anything. Being irritating. I think I that would say a, that's a crime if they're, they're making. It's a pretty. It's like a your pretty it's a pretty serious thing to turn around to a person online and say, I'm assigned to torture you. You don't think that's a bit serious? Yeah, what are they playing at here? This is ridiculous. But how are they torturing you? Aside from what you've implied saying they're, they're attacking you psychologically, how are they torturing you? Well, that's that's a very good question. They weren't specific. That's They weren't specific. They just said, I'm a semi-perp. They influenced me to perp others, which means psychologically torture them or physically torture them in whatever ways they can. But, um, yeah, I personally believe this is bullshit because the thing is we get people harassing us all the time. But it's usually not just one person. It's usually a multitude of people over a long period of time. I've been cyber harassed for years by multiple people. And the fact that you've said that one person doing it isn't a crime, that's exactly how they're able to get away with it. Because if a different person can do it each time, mm. and on top of that, you can't really track the IP address so you don't really know who's doing it, then it allows them to continue doing what they're doing. Okay, so one of the children laughed, so basically it might have been one of them. Wait a minute, They've what? Just laughed Did just you now. hear that shit? Hold, hold the up. Did and you I'm guys hear that? Let me play it again. Children laughed, so basically it might hold have up, been hold one up, you hold don't who's doing it. Yep. Okay, so one of the children laughed, so basically it might have been one of them. They've just laughed just now. God, they are so stupid. Let me continue. And I'm recording this phone Who's conversation. one of the children? Yeah, one I, of the I children. Don't know who you're I stood at the top of the stairs and went, ha, ha, as I'm on the phone to the police. They know I'm recording. God, they are so... D All right. They are dense, bro. I'm going to play it again. Yeah. Then it allows them to continue doing what they're doing. 
Okay, so one of the children laughed. So basically, it might have. They didn't laugh, not really. But it sounded like the older kid. It sounded like the older kid. Might have been one of them. They've just laughed just now. And I'm recording this phone call. One of the children. Yeah, one of the I children. I don't know who my... you're talking about. So basically, one of the oh, children why do they from keep my doing neighbor. This shit? Why do they keep trying to make you sound crazy? So I don't know who you're talking about. Like, oh, bitch, shut up. I'm sick of these. My people. neighbor's family has just been laughing to themselves, so it was probably them. And the thing is, I've got this phone conversation recorded and I've got them recorded. So that's further evidence that they might have been involved in everything that's going on. Mm. That's not really evidence just because you've heard them laugh. Well, it, they've been they watching be my social about media. Anything. Yeah, but they've been watching my social media and they can hear me right now. How do you know that they've been watching your social media? Because I can hear some of their conversations talking about um, what I've been saying online. The neighbours have definitely been talking to other people about my online usage and about what I've been, you know, about what I've been saying about them as well. So for them, they're kind of... Do you not think that's in response to the fact that you're posting about your neighbours? Well, I'm posting about my neighbours because if they're going to be racist to me and harass me for months on end, then I have the right to basically report what's going on, especially if the police aren't going to do anything. Checkmate, bitch. Long silence. From what you've advised me as to what's happened this morning, there's not enough to classify as a crime. I hear that. I hear that. And, what, I'll, what I'll do is, if it happens again, what I'll do is I'll track the IP address of each person that's doing it. Because the thing is, is that if it's multiple people doing this stuff, then it points to a wider organisational network. And from there, surely that would be a crime, wouldn't it? If somebody right. is being harassed and blacklisted by an entire network of people, that's a crime, isn't it? I can't say if it is or not. Girl, please, stop. Okay, it's just, I'm not really all that clued up with cybercrime, but uh -huh. I, I can't say yes or no to that. Okay. I've got a record of our call today. I've created a log of it, but I, it's just not enough to classify as a crime at this I, time. I get that said. because it was only one person and it was like a really, really brief conversation. Mm. Um, I'm kind of surprised because I personally felt like there was a lot to go on. So basically, the na so basically they're saying that my neighbours have been st sticking things up their arse and the children have been laughing about the fact that I'm on social media right now because that's the they're type of... They're not really laughing. They're gloating. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm so sorry. ...type of stuff they do. And then on top of that... I'm laughing. You know, this yeah, person has basically confessed to me that, yeah, I am perping you right now. I am psychologically harassing you. And I'm one of many people doing it. I'm one of many people that are doing this to you. And that's not enough to go on. I find that surprising. But okay, I'll leave it at that. Okay. So have you got a reference number? Yeah, it's 673. 673 in today's date? Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. All right, so that was a yeah, 10 wanna... minute and 46 second conversation. Now, I told you that there was something odd about the way that this phone call took place, right? Did you notice they didn't take my details? They didn't take my name. They did the same thing a few years ago when uh, one of the people that I was living with was harassing me and they were in their campaign like their 136 hour campaign harassing me right so in the midst of that I called the police tried to report them but I also reported the family across from us who had been using unlawful surveillance against us so I did that at around the same time and just like this person here they didn't take my details they didn't ask me what my name was. They didn't ask me where I live. They didn't ask me my phone and none of that. When they're taking a report, they usually take your details. The fact that they did not take my details 
I have two possibilities in my mind. One that might not be a real police call centre. It's a long shot, but that's one possibility. The second possibility is that they already know who I am and they had no intention of taking that report down, which is more likely. So that lets me know that the police are in on it. Because why are you not taking any details? And then on, top, then on top of that, I just told you that one of the more serious instances where I've got perps contacting me, they're literally threatening to kill my entire family and frame me for it. So that's a direct threat. I told her, I told her what a direct threat was. She took no notice of it. So there are a lot of different things. There's a lot of different evidence when it comes to how perps behave and what they do. This is why I get this shit recorded no matter what. I get this shit recorded. Because if people are going to play that paranoid schizophrenia game with me, I'm going to play this evidence game with them. It's circumstantial. It's not rock solid. But unlike them, I have evidence of what I'm saying. They don't have evidence that gang stalking is not real. I have evidence that directed energy weapons are real because you can go on any defense systems website, Lockheed, BAE systems. You can go on to fucking Raytheon. There are electronic weaponry all over that shit. So I've got evidence of what I'm saying. I've got evidence of MK Ultra. There are declassified files on it. I've got evidence. Of, like, even if it wasn't happening to me personally, I at least have evidence that these things are actually happening. These people have no fucking evidence of me having paranoid schizophrenia because I haven't done a brain scan. They have no evidence that any of the shit that I've been talking about is delusion because literally defense systems have proved them wrong. FBI have proved them wrong. CIA have proved them wrong. Several whistleblowers have proved them wrong. So they have no evidence that I'm making this shit up. No evidence that none of this is real. No evidence that I'm not being harassed by a whole network of people. They've got no evidence in their corner. So what do they have to do? They have to lie. And not only do they have to lie, they have to lie in numbers. Christopher James, brother Christopher, whom I love, a TI, another TI, he said that this kind of illustrates that while gang stalkers, this is why gang stalkers need to smear you to other people because individually they're very, very fucking weak. They're very weak and not only that, very stupid. So how do you go online with a username and and just readily admit like I've been sticking things up my asshole and then laugh about it like who's raising you and I'm gonna say this now I don't have any proof I don't have any evidence of what I'm about to say but I think I think it's the upstairs neighbors I think it's one of them who created the username and started talking shit because you know then they're going ha ha I'm like Ha ha over what you lost. So if you lied and said that you've been sticking my toothbrush up your ass, if you lied and said that, then you're the loser who fucking lied about sticking hygienic products up somebody's ass to get a reaction. But if it's true, hello, you're a loser and a scumbag who stuck something up their ass in order stuck somebody's hygienic products up your ass in order to get a reaction. You lose either way. I don't understand how you've won. And the whole world knows it now because this, is a, this was a bit to get me offline. But now what's happened? Now multiple people online know what's going on. And not only that, it's brought other perps to the proceedings. So now me talking about having a whole network of people harassing me and especially online, now that has legitimacy because of everything that you've done. How do you come off looking good for any of this? I'm, I'm just trying to understand. How do you come off looking good for any of this?
Imagine being that rotten that you would stick something up your ass and make them brush their teeth with it. But that's if, that's if you're even telling the truth. You might not be. Stupid. This is what I'm saying. When you get these people individually, Christopher James said it best. My man Chris said it best. Individually, they're very weak. And individually, it stops becoming about, you know, the bigger picture. And it just starts becoming about, well, as long as I get a reaction, as long as something's happening, as long as I'm getting a reaction, oh, that's fine. Like, my guy, what? <laughs> At least I have something to talk about in my lives now. I knew it was going <laughs> to... I knew shit like this was going to happen. It's always happened like this. There's always a quiet moment. And then the bullshit starts. And... This is, this is no coincidence. This is no coincidence. This is either happening just in time for my period. Or it's deliberately happening away from my period. But my period is centered around this. Because... They know I have hormonal issues and they know those hormonal, hormonal issues can come out in very, very bad mood swings. So they might not be very smart. The perps are not smart, but they know what they're doing by now. And especially, it's not like I hide anything. So the fact that I don't hide anything and the fact that, you know, I, I talk my business anyway. Because the thing is, if the perps are going to know my business, then... I feel like everybody else should. I don't want like the entirety of my business only known by the worst possible people to have that information. So, you know, I feel like it's either, it's revolved around my period either way, away from it or toward it. It's revolved around my hormonal issues because they know once I have hormonal issues, the shit goes left, especially during winter because it's SAD as well. But that's a long story. But yeah. No, no, no. The, the perps are not smart. When you get them individually, they're not smart. They're not strong. Like vindictive as hell. Paranoid as well. They're very, very paranoid. If you as a targeted individual think that you're paranoid. If you think you're paranoid. Think about the situation you're in. What else but paranoia? could put you in that position. Think about it. However paranoid you think you are, however vindictive you think you are, however spiteful you think you are, the perps have got you beat, they're always gonna have you beat because even if you're doing nothing and minding your business, they're shaking in their britches. All right. Even if you're doing absolutely nothing to them, even if you're just minding your own business, they're just waiting for the other shoe to drop and that makes them paranoid. Makes them way more paranoid than you could ever be, my darlings. Way more. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to get on with the rest of my readings today. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. I've got my chicken cooking in the oven. It smells better than last time <laughs> because last time I put vanilla in it and it just had this weird smell to it and it's just like, Ugh. but it smells good. It smells better today. So anyway, you guys, peace and blessings. Take care. I love you, my fellow TI so much. Bye-bye.